Still in Galveston. For those that don't know, very proud of this little girl. She's going to Texas and it, the car that her mother originally bought her, it was a first trial run car. So this is a more permanent one that we just bought her, her mom and I. So it's a, what is it? It's a 2010 Dodge Ram. And it's not a 4x4. It's a rear wheel drive. It's mostly going to stay here in Texas. She's not going to drive it that much in Colorado. If she even takes it to Colorado. Mom said no. Why? Because it's too much wear and tear on the truck. It's got seven. It, it has. The reason we bought it, it has 77,000 miles. It was list price at 12.5. 12, we paid 12.5, but then tax, license, and everything else shot it up to about 14,000. So today we are going to. Her mom is paying for brand new tires. Depending on the price of new rims, Tito's gonna buy her maybe rims if they're reasonably priced. I already spent $1,200 yesterday on a tune-up and full, full everything on it. Okay, but this is the truck. I'm gonna walk around it. It's a nice truck. Other than the car door dings on the door, we're still waiting for license plates. They said it would come in a week. Yeah, uh, well, the post office emailed me saying that there's no packages. Okay, so hopefully it's there. So, other than new rims, the truck looks really good. Yeah, big bird shit. There's a lot of seagulls here. So, it's a good looking truck. Now yeah, we're getting a new tire today. Here at the condo in Galveston, and these are the four brand new tires. That's what they look like. They actually look better than my truck, and they were a lot cheaper. So her mom paid for the tires, and the Tito's paid for the rims. All four of them. They're really nice rims. And then that one said thank you, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tito. Yes. Thank you, Tito. And that's what we have been doing in Galveston. Getting tired of it. This is the first phase of the new paper towel holder. Okay. Now, our paper towel, for years and years, decades actually, I've used this type of paper towel holder. It just sits on the counter. And I've gotten used to it. So here in Wanda, I bought the same kind because it's what I'm used to. However, there is very limited camera space here. And I would really like to put this somewhere else. And every time we move, this goes on the sofa. Just lays down on the sofa like this. So I was watching Keep Your Daydream, KYD. If you haven't subscribed, they're wonderful couple and they put their paper towel holder right here on this part of the stove so I bought one similar to that and what it is is you screw it on but I don't know if it's I don't know if I'm gonna like it I've never had anything like this since my parents my, my mom had one of these so we're gonna get some command strips, command strip it here, and try it out. So if I don't like it, I can just pull it out before I start drilling holes in my cabinets. If I do like it, we're gonna, we're gonna drill holes in the cabinets. But I wanna test it out first. So this is a full sheet, hasn't been used, of bounce paper towel. I can't use this one because it's... So I want to see how far this roll is. And that's where I will stick this. So I am going to need a pencil. I'm 
can no longer see anymore. Okay. Okay, a great tool to have in your kitchen are wire cutters. The reason for that is because a lot of things now use these zip ties in their packaging and wire clippers, wire cutters are the best thing for them. You just snip it. Okay, the screws that come with this are too long. They will poke through, will poke right through the cabinet. So you do have to use smaller wood screws than this if I plan on screwing it. Or I, but I might just leave the posty things. Okay, but first we're gonna use these. The command strips for a test to see whether I do actually like it here or not. If I don't, we go back to this one. This one. So how does this work? Here. Okay, this is what it looks like. I got it from Amazon. You just put the paper towel through it. Oh, okay, so I guess that's how it looks. Okay. Okay, let's see. to make sure that line is the same.
Okay, as with most command strip products, don't start using it immediately because it'll fail. Let it sit for 15-30 minutes before using the product. That way you know it's actually bonded correctly with both surfaces. Okay, we've waited long enough. I'm gonna try it out. Let's see if it holds. Okay, aesthetically first, do I like it? I sit over there, so I'm gonna go see if I like if I like looking at it. It doesn't block the plug for my coffee in the morning and also the rice cooker and also for tea, hot water for tea. That's a good thing. This I don't like. <laughs> okay, we'll have to roll it back. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, how, how do you... How do we get just one? Okay, I guess we have to hold it now. We'll try it out for a couple of days to see. We'll keep all the packaging together in case I decide to ship it back. I'm gonna put this ah pots and pans. There for now. Right, part one, see if I like it. Okay, we're at the Strand area and we are eating dinner tonight here at Sky Bar Sushi and Steak. Sushi is really good. It's the one place in Galveston that I find where I actually like the sushi. And there's the pumpkin. I always order too much food. So this is what we have right now. Again, too much food. But it's delicious. Today is Tuesday, November 24th. And I am cooking three pounds of bacon, believe it or not. I need this bacon to last me until Sunday morning. Um, Thanksgiving is on Thursday and today is Tuesday so on Thursday I will be driving Michaela back to the airport Houston so she can fly home and on Friday morning I leave as soon as sun rises up is which is at 6:54 in the morning that's when I will hopefully be pulling out and driving to Fort Stockton, Texas, which is, according to Waze, eight, eight hours and 34 minutes from here. But I have to tack on two more hours, so it's a 10 hour drive if I drive straight on to it. So preparing my breakfast for that Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And after Fort Stockton, I'll be driving straight through to Tucson, which is going to be a nine hour drive. And the following day, onward to Las Vegas on Sunday. I should get, and that one is an eight hour drive. Why am I driving all this distance? Walter is having problems medically with his kidney stone. Uh, he went into St. Rose Hospital where they essentially did things to him that they gave him an infection and did not cure whatever was did not cure what was ailing him 
and he came out worse than he went when he went in. So now I'm rushing off to Las Vegas. Why am I not leaving immediately? I still have a pumpkin that I need to take care of and drop off at the airport. And that part of uh, the family duty I am doing. Okay. That is where we are. Mentally, I am angry, very pissed off, and I can't believe the way he was treated. I really can't. This is what three pounds of bacon looks like. So we will be eating a couple of strips of this every morning for the next week. We are here again at the Stella Mar RV Resort here in Galveston. This is the back road, Stewart. back road is that there's two elementary schools on this road when you get closer to town so you actually have to watch your speed limit when the lights are flashing it drops down to 20, 20 miles an hour I really like this resort it's across the highway from the beach where I've been doing my daily sunset walks and also I like Next time, we're going to ask for this space over here. We're going to ask for this space over here. Might stay longer also. I'd love to spend like two months here. November, December, December, January. I like this part. Okay, we are across this are across the street from the back building which is their bathroom and they have two washer dryers inside they keep it very clean and they pick up the garbage here now you do is put it out on the curb on the street side Today's Thanksgiving weekend, and I don't see that many of one or two, but the park is full. I didn't realize Thanksgiving weekend, Thanksgiving week, would be so busy. Here we are, space 139. I like this end cap because you get this expansive lawn. And our main window is right over here. So this has been my view for the almost the entire month. It's been nice. Anyway, 50 amp. Water pressure is good. Sewer. And it's a very long RV spot. So we can go all the way up to this line right here. And I actually have room for two more cars in the front. See how long this space is next door to me. They've got a 550 Ram truck and then a triple axle fifth wheel.
Right, I'm gonna lock up the door and go for our morning walk around the park. So would I stay at this park again? Oh, definitely, yes. We would stay here, yeah, we would stay here even longer. Getting the, getting Wanda and Aries washed today. And essentially I'm too lazy to go outside and film this. So we're filming it from the inside. This is what it looks like. Me washing. <laughs> At the condo. Okay, the truck is in the garage along with the PT Cruiser that's going to charity. And here is all the waste so far. Along with new baseboards or new boards. And to move this out of the way. So it's a tight fit, but it still fits. Show you what the rest of the place looks like right now. Oh, there's, they've started putting down new boards. Okay, that's all going. It's gonna be a window there. Huh. It's Michaela's room. It'll look better once they scrape the ceilings. Okay, so they're actually making a lot of demo progress. They've already put the new subfloor in. Wow, that was from two days ago. Yeah. Shit. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're gonna have to, someone's gonna have to go through the front. Yeah. Okay, put your stuff in the truck. Here goes. Okay, there's the pumpkin. She had to do more work than intended. That's okay. Well, Oh, it should be open. I'm doing my evening sunset walk. I'm gonna miss this. I've been here a month, over a month now. And almost every night I come to this beach and just walk. watching. Bye.